Welcome back to the Mirror of Return. We're now going upstairs in the pyramid. Oh wow, these are extremely tiny steps. That's sort of the ramp. Looks funny texture, but no. Let's just scout around a bit in the dark. See if there seems to be anyone out here that might cause us problems. It looks safe enough. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, let's... Illuminate the place a little. Oh, we can't light. Oh, we can light the light? They say we can't, but we can, we absolutely can, even though it doesn't have a flame. That's fine, it's just, you know, a technical glitch. Chapter 11, Sandworms. The legendary sandworms live in the barren desert of two black. Their size varies between several yards and some hundred feet. Only a few people have seen a worm and lived long enough to tell about them. I am one of those few. If you want to see one of them, you'll need to travel deep into the deserts. Their mouths are littered with thousands of teeth. It is hard to describe their appearance with words. Only the Turax managed to survive in this environment, and they worship the great worms. They call them children of gods. It seems like these worms segregate something, and this is the reason why the Turax wander across the desert to follow the worms. The eyes of all Turax do glow an eerie blue, and they don't tell much about the animals. However, it's known that Turax and Tublax used to live together for ages. Hmm? Couldn't possibly be referring. Any work, other work of fiction, could it? No, this room. And it's a slightly uh, awkward interaction to just like throw things to do. You know, throw torch at lamp, but uh, I guess it works. Reminds me of that uh, kind of point-and-click adventure game someone was making where you would actually throw the verbs at things to interact. Tidgeal is responsible for the misfortune in closing us, therefore the council decided unanimously to punish him. But not by death, since this would be like a salvation for him. Instead we ban him to the world in between, where his mind shall never find peace, no matter what he finds there. Apart from that, I doubt that the accident with the teleporting device happened by chance. He was obsessed with increasing his power. He couldn't take it that we denied him the leadership of our facility. It is likely that he tried to regain his power by building up this vast army of monsters. It was almost too late to stop him, but we succeeded at last. Tijil, he was the mage who turned up at the fortress, wasn't he? <laughs> I think that's his name. <laughs> Alright, where's my, where's my magic, magic torch gun? Whoops. Thought I was dropping the door there, kind of surprising. Alright, oh, I can't drop that door, that's why I keep throwing the torch at it. I mean, it's a pretty solid door. Could be in a little room there, alright. Well, let's we'll find out. Oh, there's a whole other layer of the pyramid, okay. Any nasties here? Doesn't seem to be. We are doomed. It seems as though the gods want to punish us. I can't think of another explanation for recent events. In the beginning, everything was harmless. Titiel demonstrated his new knowledge concerning teleportation techniques to us. They made it possible to travel through space without using the ring transport device. Still gives me the creeps when I think of the first time we used that ring transport device. Brother Reynolds volunteered for the test, but something went wrong as he attempted to return to our world. The rematerialization pr procedure mixed his body parts into one organic mass. 
He died instantly. We accompanied Tigil to the outside where he wanted to demonstrate his new technique. He wanted to teleport himself to the upper level of the valley, but he didn't succeed. Instead, the earth was shaking and a huge cleft opened in the ground. Wave upon wave of evil creatures emerged from the cleft, slow but unstoppable. Fire elemental monstrosities and undead appeared in huge numbers right in front of us. We were able to repel the first wave attack of attackers, but time was working against us. We decided to seal the entrance to our research site to stop them from overrunning us completely. Beyond that, we were able to install a protective seal surrounding the entire site. This way, the evil creatures were bound to the valley forever. But I am afraid the seal will not withstand their powers for long. Most of our brethren were evacuated using the ring transport. The few of us that remained here sacrificed themselves as protectors of the site. We had to go through a rite that would separate our souls from our mortal bodies. We would remain as guardians to protect the site until the end of time. No one should be allowed to use the ring transport again. I pray that none of those monsters find one of the control crystals we keep hidden in the basement. We return the mirror to the place where we found it, since it is no longer of use to us. I have to hurry up. The ritual will begin within a few hours. Don't worry, none of the monsters found the control crystal. Just me. You're gonna regret this alone, that guy. Lighting all these torches, what's gonna happen? Spawn hundreds of monsters, and I'm just trying to sneak my way back past all the torches that I've lit. That's what's gonna happen, surely. Oh, hello. Why do I have all these fire arrows, right? If not to deal with monsters. Finally, we were able to put the new research site into operation. Only yesterday we received the last pieces of missing equipment and began with our work. I am convinced that we will succeed in gaining the necessary knowledge here at this site. Since no thieves or other intruders ever lived in this area, there is little to fear. A chest. Little to fear. The thief might decide to come here on holiday instead of living here. Okay. Magic torch, please. Where are we? There we are. Is this a chair? And the top level, I guess. Is this where the ring transport device is? That... Hmm. Oh, this looks complicated. Since the invention of the ring transport system, we are in possession of a huge network of jump nodes that allows us to travel across great distances within a few seconds. Only adepts in possession of the Mirror of Return are able to enter the supercritical jump coordinates. If you want to gain the Mirror, you'll need to pass four trials and defeat the Guardians. Select the jump note you want to travel to, and may the gods be with you. Let's see, we've got symbols. We've got three blackish squiggles and one squiggly squiggle. Alright, do I need the magic torch still? I don't know. Uh, does this even work? The wheel seems to be missing a peg. Well, it's a strange metaphor, Garrett, but you're right, the uh, control crystal was broken, okay. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the um, magic torch down because I can't see a thing. I can't see whether I'm at, like actually uh, highlighting any buttons with it. There we are. So those aren't buttons, these, these ones are. What have we got? Flattish, except the sideways. Squiggly. Flattish, flattish. Let's go.
Hello. Another breast potion. Well, it's pretty dark in here. Oh, the code is different. And this teleport is no longer operative. The four control crystals now. Okay. Maybe we're only gonna need the mirror of return in order to, you know, return. An alternate version of the pyramid, just like, just like we found with the other crystals. It's partially collapsed. Okay. Hmm. Oh, what's that? Another breath potion. I okay, guess five of them. That's a very good number of breath potions to have. It means I'm not going to feel bad about using one of them if I need to. I'm a little uncertain about carrying this magic torch everywhere because I might need to be sneaky. Although if this is if this is anything like the other uh, planes, oh hello. Anything like the other planes of existence, there'll be no life, no enemies, right? Where do we go? Ah, I think I see it. Back down again. Oh, give me some air. Yes. Put there. I mean, I could use another breath potion, but I uh, don't want to be relying on too many to get around. I don't have quite limited resource and definitely precious. When you need one, you can't do without it. So, full lungful of air first. My breast potion, if it becomes necessary, is a uh, way to do things, I think. Okay, I am hearing things. To. Magic torch down. This place is reasonably well lit anyway. I mean, not necessarily this building, but more water arrows, nice. Torch down was a good idea. This guy's did not look too friendly to me. Water key.
piece of code, okay. Why put some water key over here? Okay. I guess there's one of these towels for each element, and once we've found and placed all the keys. found and placed all the keys and I guess we should be alright to get out. Let's see if we can get up. No. I'm coming. It's a bit bright up there. Tried to mantle, but this tiny little bit of geometry sticking out made it impossible. That's why I was skeptical of many details on Thief because they just kind of a severely negative impact on how you um, navigate. Speed question. Okay. Right, where's our fire key? something but he didn't he didn't detect me as me he just got very suspicious not not me to go down there just yet but fair enough safe enough leave them to the squealing Oh, there's somebody there. I hope they didn't see me. This one must be first. A lot of rocks. Did he, did he hear that? Yes. It's nothing, dude. It's just, just, just a, a rock. It's the sound of Earth hitting Earth. You know, it's, it's a very normal sound. Oh, this is going to make me have to abort this attempt to climb, isn't it? Oh, 
maybe not if I quit. Okay, I'm lucky. Okay, I was quick and lucky. these edges, so you, you have to, you have to deal with the, uh, go up and down the ramps, stairs, whatever, there's ramps, no shortcuts for this garret. Boulders up here. I see, that's why there's so many boulders. going to suck. Slow. Back and forth. I think I should probably just try to get one at a time up there because it seems probably easier to do that than uh, bury them with them being so sensitive to the sound of a, of a boulder being put on the floor. Wait till they're out of the room as well, at least. Maybe I can't. Seem to alert to that. Well, maybe they did actually. They seem a little upset. There's five boulders. I'm a little concerned. Getting them all. If you want to stop squealing and start walking, that would be much appreciated, man. Two down below. Oh, look at that. He stepped on the plate for me. Making the earth key appear. I could have just. Uh... Okay. And a healing potion. Let's, let's, you know what? Let's just use that right away. Run. Without Earth Key. 
One more. And you saw something, you saw me up there. Yeah, at least you can cut the corner of this pet. Okay. Last one. Hello, is that wood? Surely not. It is. One tower, I can get a shortcut. Unless all the others I could too, and I just didn't fail to notice. Oh, fuck, he's just standing there invisible. See, it's not a shortcut, it's necessary. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry, mate. It's not fair, is it? Wait. Oh, okay. So what now? I do another rope. Oh, that's pushing it for just make it there. Well, I like this one mixes up the formula. <laughs> the other three works. I need a little bit of it. Another breath potion, I guess, to help us get back. Slow pull potion, which will help us get down, but only with one le level. Air key, that one's not on a, uh, that one's in a chest, not on a plinth. And what do you have here? Gas arrow. Now I could just probably maybe climb back over those, maybe not. All right. Let's go place our air key and think about getting down. I probably should have left that rope, huh? So I climbed up to get to this level. I'm sure I'll be fine. Since this one is not full of enemies, let's check if there's anything on the ledge. No. I'm not really expecting to find loot in this area, in this zone. Okay, it's gonna be easy enough to stick another rope in and get down. Yeah, the force field seems to have vanished. up anybody unexpectedly. Alright. Here's the mirror. We have four pieces of code. One, two, three, four. Okay. Don't know what order we use them though, that's the question. We've got the mirror. It's time to return with it and not forget our magic torch.
if that's the way back out, this way had some air. So let's breathe that. Should get my breath patterns ready in case I need them. Should have done that before to hang and die. Okay. Well, five of them, that's plenty. And I actually think we won't even need it, but we'll find out. I only needed it before because I was busy searching the uh, entire room. So I should be able to go straight back to the entrance now. Ah, uh, let's use one, I suppose. As we run out. <laughs> Barely necessary, but, you know, it's fine. Ain't no kind of problem. Alright, we have the mirror. We have a code. How do we use it? I mean, I don't know what order they are in, right? Piece of code. So they can we drop them and, and read them? I mean, sort of. Let's try that again. I think it is arrow, beetle, horny dude, and spear medusa. Let's try that. Arrow. Beetle. Horny dude. Spear medusa. Nope. Well, let's try the other way then. Spear Medusa. Horny dude. Beetle arrow. Okay. Hmm. Beetle, horny, arrow, spear. Beetle, horny, spear, arrow. Beetle, spear, arrow, horny. Beetle, arrow, spear, horny. There's way too many combinations of this. Maybe the mirror will tell something? We can't use it. This isn't going to tell me anything, is it, right? This is just about, uh... Caesar's house. Yeah, Beatrix helped us get in. Oh! Luckily you'll find it in Milky Cow Bar. Should have... Should have checked that. Yeah. Special mirror can be used to transform objects into their former state. Hmm. Am I really supposed to just try these pieces of code in order? Beetle, horny, sp Oh, now they're not coming up in the same sort. Oh, oh no, I missed one. Where are we? If I go in order, as we search, or... Arrow, beetle, horny spear? Isn't that what I already tried? Alright, well, let's just be methodical, I suppose. Arrow, spear, horny beetle. Arrow, spear, beetle horny. Arrow, horny, spear beetle. Wait a minute. Uh, 
Oh, there's the horn, did you see? Yeah. Arrow. Horny. Beetle spear. Arrow. Beetle. Spear horny. Arrow. Beetle. Horny spear. That's all the ones we can with arrow. Spear arrow. Horny beetle. Just listen to this. <laughs> Spear. Arrow. Beetle horny. Spear. Horny. Arrow beetle. Spear. Horny. Beetle arrow. Spear beetle. Arrow horny. I feel like I'm missing something. Spear beetle. Horny arrow. Which beetle wants to be getting with spear? Wasn't keeping track, but that should have been another six. Okay, horny. S arrow spear beetle. Horny arrow beetle spear. Horny spear arrow beetle. Horny spear. Beetle arrow. Horny beetle. Arrow spear. Horny beetle. Spear arrow. Beetle arrow spear horny. Beetle arrow. Horny spear. Beetle spear arrow horny Beetle spear horny arrow to the left Beetle horny arrow spear Beetle horny spear arrow Well now we've tried every single combination and none of them work. So what am I supposed to be doing here? Surely not I'm supposed to read the notes again, right? That's about the torch. I guess I can skim them. Mm-hmm. Access with the teleporting device. Ring transport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one should be allowed to use it again, yeah. Uh, fire spring dragons. Powers of the thing. This is all about the fortress. A special mode can be used to transform objects into the former states. It's possible to return to the real world using the mirror even without. Wait. No, it's not a mirror of return. It's not returning anything. The other question is, is I've misidentified one of the buttons. Oh. Oh, there's two horny guys. One with his hand on his head. And one was the hand in the air. I forgot the wrong one. That's the hand on his head, horny guy. Okay. Well, there's another potential 24 combinations. Let's see. Arrow. We'll just try them in the order they appear in the inventory. I don't know if it's important. If that's. I don't know if it's actually sorted. Arrow. Beetle. Horny spear. Hmm. 
Maybe I just have to press the right four and it's not a matter of combination. Oh dear. Well. Here we go, I guess. Half-Life 2. Oh! I oh, know, I thought we were somewhere entirely different because of the out because I could see outside, but no. You know what? Well, we'll leave the, we'll leave the, the magic torch down on the lowest level. Alright, um... All we gotta do is get back to the inn. And get some sleep. Well, we gotta return the uh, necklace as well to uh, our friend. Oh, you know what? While we're here, we pass any unlit torches, why not light them? Even if it is a bit noisy. And now that we have some light, let's just check this room again, because it seems, seems strange to me that this room would be completely devoid of anything. I mean, it's still possibly true. But strange nonetheless. Besides, we can light it, light it up and make it look nicer. Friendly and welcoming place. Well, nothing here, but um, you know what? This is probably a great place to. Leave the torch for the next time I'm just hovering magically over a table. Which is always lighting. Can I can I leave it standing up? I... No, it always falls over. Okay. Goodbye, magic torch. You've served me well well enough. It's going to see us, isn't it? No? Nice firework. Alright, let's go. You're allowed to see me, that doesn't mind about you. Where is this going to take me? Corpse, okay. I guess we're gonna blow these rocks to hell. And we're back at the bridge. Bridge of the barracks. Did I miss? I guess I might have. Oh, well, it's just a rogue arrow. Wasted, I'm sure it's not a problem. <laughs> Farewell, Barracks. Don't mind me, I'm, I'm off to other places. You need not trouble yourself to follow. Okay, where is my cemetery key? Did I lock the door? Because I think I locked the door behind me. Alright.
run back through the Wanted Village. Let's not disturb, let's not get into too many violent confrontations with the locals. Let's leave them to their business. It was way out of here. I was around that side. I came the long way. Because of course I did. Alright. Nearly there. It's just back up here. <laughs> You'll never guess where I've been, guys. Maybe I should have brought the magic torch back. It would have been there. Interesting thing to show. All right, go back to the Milky Bar in a minute. First, we have a uh, precious necklace to return to our friend, Café. Is this what the bandits took from you, mate? Supposed to be able to drop it. We still drop those. Hmm. Outstanding. You found it. Thanks a lot. Now I can finally rest in peace. Oh. You were a ghost all along. Bonus, you've helped Kafi to be laid to rest. Okay, so he didn't escape the fortress, I guess. Only his ghost did. Well, I guess it explains why he didn't bother to open the letter to read it. <laughs> Alright. Just a little bit of lag before it triggers. So, uh... Alright. Back to so back to the Milky Cow to oh let's let's stop. Is this the inn where we can sleep? This is kind of like an inn. Feels like an inn. I'm gonna sleep on the balcony. Night. All right, that was part two. To never return. We found three thousand four hundred thirty out of a total of four thousand one hundred fifty. So somewhere there's another whole seven hundred loot hiding. And, um, no secrets that we missed, because it's none labelled. I don't know, maybe there's more bonus objectives or something. I mean, that canyon, looting the canyon cave seems like it was another secret-ish place. But uh, next time, we'll continue with part three. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.